Also today, the Austin City Council is going to take a closer look at enacting stricter rules for those electric scooters that we see all across town. Right now, you might not realize this, but the police actually are not allowed to mm -hmm. ticket scooter riders, but that could change today. E-scooters are banned from certain parks. You can't take them on the hike and bike trail. Even though police can't enforce that ban right now, it might surprise you to learn at least one scooter company is assessing its own fine. So Kenny Rodriguez, she joins us live from the trail with an in-depth look at what this all entails and what it means for the Trail Foundation. Hey there, Kendi. And a good morning. And if you head on out here, you'll see signs like this one. These are actually brand new. They just went into place this week. 30 of them across the trail warning you that no electric scooters are allowed. The scooter company Lime has set up what it calls a geofence around Lady Bird Lake as well. It warns and then finds riders who park their scooters on the trail. Lime then splits the money with the trail foundation. So far, we're talking about thousands of dollars in fines. But despite that, the foundation says scooters are still a huge problem on the trail. You better not be on the Butler hike and bike trail on a scooter or else they will get a message through their Lime app telling you to get off the trail and Lime representatives say if you don't listen that they will be fine if they do in fact park there. $25. When it's an affordable service and the price is low to ride the scooter, $25 is a, a wake up call for some people. Those at the Trail Foundation say on any given weekend, there are about 10 riders per hour on the trail, as well as dozens of scooters littered across the area, either because of or in spite of these signs. And while $25 may sound like a hefty price, the foundation urges you to consider the impact the scooters have on the trail. The trail is a fragile ecological environment as we've seen with some of the rain recently and, and so we just need to try and preserve it as best we can and, and this is not a place for scooters. I want to show you something. If you open up the Lime app and you're near the trail, you will see this red marking around the trail. That is the geofencing, and that is what lets, lets know Lime know that you are on the trail, and that's how they know to alert you to get off or either find you if you end up parking on the trail. We'll let you know if we hear back from other scooter companies about similar changes. Back to you. Good to know, Candy. Thank you very much. Once the pilot program ends, the city plans to look at recommendations on e-bikes and e-scooter use on the city's bike trails. The pilot program allows you to use those scooters and bikes on Johnson Creek, Shoal Creek, Northern Walnut Creek, and Southern Walnut Creek trails. The program wraps up in September.